Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today in this tutorial in UiPath Word Automation, we are going to learn the Word activity versus Word document activity. So we'll learn what is the difference between Word activity and Word document activity. You can see the screenshot. Here we have the Word document activity and here we have Word act activity. So let me show you the difference one by one and I will show the show you the practical also in UiPath Studio. You can see the first difference in the word activity. To use this word activity, word application should be installed in your system. And using word document activity, not required to install word application in your system. So same as the Excel activity and the, you know, the workbook activity. So these are the, you know, the difference for this word activity and word document activity. Here, the second difference that in word activity, you need to keep all these activities in word application scope activity, same as the Excel application scope. And in the word document activity, not required to use word application scope. It works separately. Third difference is, it opens word document to read text. But in the Word document activity, it does not open Word document to read the text. The fourth difference is it does not throw an exception while reading password protected document. It opens Word document and shows the pop-up asking to enter the credential. But when you will use Word document activity, it will throw an exception while reading password protected document. So these are the you know difference. I am going to show you one by one. Okay, so let me open UiPath Studio and I will show you one by one here. So here we have this, you know, Word and Word document. You can see in the app indication, we, here we have this Word. So all these activities is a part of Word here. And these activities must be used inside this Word application scope. And these three activities is a part of Word documents that can be used separately without using Word application scope. So here if I'm going to use this read text so you can you know see here that is so gen the warning message that activity is valid only inside word application scope so it cannot be used separately now if I'm going to use this read text as a part of word document it can be used separately without using word application scope right so I have already shown you the practical of this read text using word document and the in the in the word activities using word application scope in my previous video you ha if you have not seen that video then please go through that now the second difference is it opens word document to read the text and using word document activity it does not open word document to read the text so this one also i have already shown in the previous video but again I'm going to show you that if I'm going to use this word application scope using this read text so let me read this one control K word text and let me take one message box here to read that word text and let me disable this first now if I'm running this one let me run this so you can see it has opened that word document and then it is reading all this data right now once you will press OK that word document will be closed right so it opens the word document to read the data now I'm going to disable this one so here we can use this separately and now I'm going to use the word the variable to read the text from word now let me take one message box here and now I'm running this so you can see it will not open that word document to read the text right you can see there there's no any document opened here I'm just getting the message here message box and all this text is there right so the difference if you don't want to open that 
word document then you can use this read text the another difference that is it does not throw an exception while reading password protected documents so here if you are working on the password protected document then I will recommend you to use the word activities not word document activities because here in the word document activity it will throw an exception while reading the password protected document I am going to show you here so here uh, I am going to use this word document part here if I will click on this and then I have this word document let me show you here this word document protected here so once we will open this manually here it will ask you to enter the you know credential the password to open this document and then you can read this right so if I'll just select this protected document you can see we are getting this error the source read text and file contains corrupt data so this is because the file is not corrupted but the file is protected the password protected so to ignore this issue ignore this exception you have to do one thing let me uh, disable this and let me open this now in the word application scope I'm going to use the same thing word document protected and going to read this one here and let me disable this one also now let me run this here so you can see the uh, the word document this password protected document has been opened and asking to enter the credential so if you are going to automate this type of you know uh, the word document and if you have the password you can put there and then it will open that it will read the document and then it will you know store that data that text in a variable and then it will close that right so by this way you can read the password protected word document so these are the difference between this word document and word application scope this word activities so you can use these activities as per your requirement so i hope you like this video thank you thank you so much friends thank you for watching this, this video